All right, so the Oscars just happened, so it's about the time of year that I do my top 10 and bottom 10 list of the year. Now, with this, I'm going to do my bottom 10 here first, but one, one thing you'll notice with my bottom 10 list is it's not that bad. Excuse me. Like, the, the thing that I did differently this year is a lot more selective with the movies I went and saw. I only saw 66 movies in this year, and um, I saw a lot of great movies, but I didn't really see that many bad ones, because, you know, when I saw that a, a movie was coming out and I knew... I just knew I wasn't going to like it, or I knew it was going to be terrible. And then, for the most part, I just didn't go see it. So this year, I have a lot of movies. There's Yes, there's a lot of bad movies on this list, but, um, like, honestly, I did not see that many movies that I hated this year. This is probably one of my weaker bottom ten lists, because, <clears throat> I mean, now looking at it, I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty crappy, but, you, you know, I just, um... I decided this year, I was like, why, not, why would I waste my time going and watching movies that I know I'm going to hate? Um, but yeah, so uh, without further ado, uh, let me move on to my bottom 10 list. Um, again, this is my own um, subjective list. Film is entirely subjective. If you liked one of these movies, Godspeed. Honestly, if you liked one of these movies, great. You know what? I kind of like a few of these movies. So like... That's so just to go to show you how many movies I just didn't see this year. <laughs> like, the bad movies I just didn't see this year. So here we go. <clears throat> um, number 10, I have Baywatch. Now, that just goes to show how of a, all right of a year this is. I didn't think this movie was terrible. Um, it, it got nominated for a lot of Razzies, but I, I didn't really... Like, yes, it was not that great of a comedy, and, you know, the little chubby kid um, was really cringeworthy, but, you know, it wasn't that bad. The Rock's really charismatic. Uh, I think Zac Efron did a good job. Alexander Daddario is fine. Um, and she's fine. Uh, the blonde chick, she's really fine. Um, and she was good. Um, yes, the, the chubby kid is really cringeworthy. But Hannibal Burris is good. Um, it's not terrible, but, like, it's... Again, I think this one makes the, the cut purely because it's like it had so much potential to be something great like if it, it, it should have been like 21 jump street and it ended up being more like um not like the opposite <laughs> what's the opposite of 21 jump street um i don't know but if i come up with it i'll tell you um moving on to number nine it's a movie that just <clears throat> a lot of people liked. Honestly, a lot of people liked this movie, but it, honestly, it just infuriated me. Kong Skull Island. I di- I really did not like Kong Skull Island. It's um, there's like a bunch of great actors, but zero good characters. Um, you don't care about any of these characters. They die without any any like s- of emotion or feeling, and you don't care about anybody involved in this movie. The plot's uh, irrelevant. <laughs> it's dumb. Yes, the special effects are amazing. Yes, Kong's every fight scene is awesome. But honestly, this movie was just extremely underwhelming. Um, and took one of the greatest characters of all time and made a mediocre B-movie out of it. And the most, the thing that most pissed me off about this movie is how um, they at the end credits, like I knew... Before the movie was even like came out, I knew there was gonna be a Godzilla vs. King Kong movie because they told us, and then they have an end credit scene where they're like, "Oh yeah, so King Kong's like a whole thing," um, but did you know Godzilla is also a thing? And I'm like, "Yeah, I know. You told me a couple months ago. I'm not surprised." Like, in when Iron Man came out, it, a, a few months before, they didn't say, "Hey guys, the Avengers is gonna be a thing," you know. Like, it would have made the movie immediately so much better if they would have just said, not like, not told us that and then let us experience that in the future, like, in the theater. Because, like, I didn't need to know a couple months ago. You know, how much cooler would it have been if everyone would have found out in the theater? But I digress. Um, number eight, 47 meters down. Stop making shark movies. <laughs> like, there, we made Jaws. Jaws happened. It's over. Stop making shark movies. There's only one cool part of this movie, and it's, like, the twist um, where, um, I don't know, something about, like, hallucinations. That's the only kind of cool thing. Um, Other than that, this is honestly a mediocre movie. 
uh, that is just a bunch of jump scares and one cool shot, uh, literally. And the, the cool shot didn't even matter because it was a part of Hallucination. Um, but yeah. Number seven is a movie that I was excited for because I'm a big Saw fan. So um, when I heard that they were rebooting it with Jigsaw, I was I was extremely weary, but I was excited because I was like, you know, I'll take a Saw movie. I've only seen the first three and half of four because, you know, I'm not in it for torture porn. I love Saw because Saw is a, is, is, it's this like thriller. It's this mystery and, you know, it's this, this character piece where you're, you know, it's two people in a room. Why are they there? How are they connected? You know, instead it's it turned into like, oh, watch this person get their arm ripped off and their eyes stabbed. And, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, that's gross. That's gross. That's, that's it. That's all I feel is gross. Ew, you know? And that's not what I want to see in a movie. And this movie is a lot of that. It's cringy. Um, when the puppet comes out, the old man is just like, oh, what, what is that? That's totally not creepy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the most cringeworthy thing I've ever seen in my life. The ending is tra- not tragic, but the only interesting part about this movie is the twist ending. And it's honestly underwhelming. And it breeds, like, it, it makes you think, that they're going to make more, and I don't want more mediocre Saw movies, even though this might, this is the highest, like, rated Saw movie on Rotten Tomatoes, that's sad, um, Saw one's so much better, and I, this is a franchise that just needs to die, please, <clears throat> uh, Six, uh, is a movie that, to be honest, I barely watched, <laughs> it's called Kidnap, it's, it stars Halle Berry, and her kid gets kidnapped, I think, I don't even, I don't even remember, because I saw this on the day that, like, in August, where was it, like, the sun, you weren't supposed to look at the sun or something, and we went, I went to Universal with my ex-girlfriend, oh, she's my girlfriend at the time, and we saw the movie at the AMC there, and honestly, it was, like, three o'clock, and I was out, like, if, if I'm watching a movie in the middle of the day, and it makes me fall asleep immediately, that's really bad. Um, this movie is really dumb and stupid, but honestly, who's, I don't really even know that (laughs) because I barely watched it. Five, Transformers Five, we, this is the same movie that we've been watching five times in a row. It's really bad. I mean, bunch of CGI crap, racism throughout, sexism throughout. Um, I don't want more of these. (laughs) Just stop making Transformers movies or if you're going to do it, just take the humans out. Add a plot, do something, do something different. I don't know, but this movie is garbage, and it's too long, and I hate it. Number four is The Mummy. Um, The Mummy is terrible. (laughs) I remember walking out of this movie just absolutely infuriated by it. It had the balls to say, yeah, we're kicking off a cinematic universe of horror movie monsters. And then with this just terrible, terrible movie... um, it's like it doesn't know what it wants to be. At some points, it's like a cool. It's like trying to be an action movie, and like other points, it's trying to be like this, like weird, awkward comedy, and it just doesn't work. I forgot a lot about this movie, and I'm thank God I did. The only cool part was when Russell Crowe turned into Hyde from Jekyll and Hyde. Um, Sofia Boutella was wasted. <laughs> um, Tom Cruise, what are you doing? And this movie just sucks. <laughs> But yeah, so um, moving on to number three is another movie, again, that I saw um, with my ex-girlfriend and all of her little sisters um, because that's what the movie they wanted to watch was Death Note. This movie went straight to Netflix. I'm pretty sure it's directed by Adam Wingard, who went on to, who also directed Blair Witch. Thanks a lot, Adam Wingard. But um, <laughs> this movie's bad. The only cool part was when, like, the demon thing is, like, blurry for a bit, that's cool. But, like, immediately they start showing him. The acting's terrible. The concept is, I guess, cool, but it's executed so shittily. This movie is just (laughs) incoherent and annoying, and I hate the characters, and I hate everything that happened in this movie. Um, Yeah, this is it's just garbage. Uh, Moving on to number two... Um, a movie that I, again, uh, probably one of the worst dates I've been on in my life. Um, again, I saw it with my ex-girlfriend, and this movie is just terrible. Flatliners. She wanted to see this movie instead of Blade Runner, because Blade Runner was too long. 
But um, Flatliners, the main character dies halfway through the movie. The the other characters are off. Like they they all have side stories that don't get resolved. The the scares are non like awful. The plot is incoherent. This movie is boring as hell. This it's just everything this movie tried to do, it failed honestly. And if I wouldn't have gone out of my way to watch what I knew was going to be the worst movie of the year, this would have been the worst movie of the year. Because honestly, I hate Flatliners. It's just, it's so forgettable. <laughs> and just so annoyingly bad. And it, I, and screw my ex-girlfriend for making me watch this movie. <laughs> um, moving on to the last movie on this list. Number one. If you didn't know it was going to be this movie, then I don't know what you're doing. Um, the Emoji Movie um, was, as we all knew, it was going to be it was the, the worst movie ever. <laughs> it's literally, like, I, I watched it because I was like, I like kids' movies, you know? They're like, you know, it's 90 minutes, I'll give it a chance. You know, there's going to be some pretty colors and some, you know, <laughs> like, you know, fun characters. <clears throat> no, every character is annoying. This movie like the plot it's so cringy like they it's like it's like watching old people try to sh- like show you what it's like to be a teenager and i'm like oh my god you you don't understand stop trying to act like you do like <laughs> it's really awkward and the two main characters fall in love to like a um a pitbull song from like 7 years ago uh oh my god there's so many just poop jokes and fart jokes all throughout. It's really this movie is the definition of cringy. It's terrible. It's my least favorite movie of the year. It is well deserved, to, but to be labeled by everyone as awful. I hate this movie, <laughs> and I'm never gonna watch it again. Thank God. And um, I, but it's just it's an atrocity. And the director, it's well known that they, like it's easy to understand why this movie is so terrible by the director saying that he literally just mailed it in and he like was like I know this movie is going to be terrible so I didn't even try well congratulations Tony Leonidas uh Leondis or whatever you made the worst movie of the year one of the worst movies I've ever seen and the emoji movie is the definition like under the word cringe in urban dictionary it should just show a picture of the emoji movie as one of the examples like and they, with the example sentences, it should say, "I just saw the most cringy movie, the Emoji Movie," and like, ah, ugh, ugh, it's terrible, it's really bad, it's Norma the North bad, oh, and that was awful too. All right, but that's pretty much it. That's my bottom ten of 2017. As I said, you know, honestly, like the bottom half of this list wasn't even that bad. Like I, I skipped movies like Geostorm and Snowman because I was like. I know they're going to be terrible, so why would I go waste a, two hours to go watch a movie that I know I'm going to hate? Um, but yeah, other than that, though, um, pretty great year for movies. If, if there's only like really, f- I only really hated like five of these movies. But the top, the bottom five, like ten through six, aren't even that bad. But one through five is pretty bad. What What were your least favorite movies of 2017? Um, did you see Geostorm? I'm sorry if you did. Um, did you see any of these movies? Did you like any of these movies? Did you like any of these movies? Oh my god, did you like them? Um, but yeah, other than that though, I'm going to come out with my top 10 list soon. And thanks for listening to me complain about all these movies that I hated. <sighs> Whew. Pretty good year. I, I'm going to start watching more movies this year because I have my movie pass. So like, you know, it's not going to like, because you know, before it'd be like, oh, do I really want to go pay $7 to go see something I know I'm going to hate? But now it's like, oh, do I really want to go for free to a movie that I know I'm going to hate? I'm like, fine, you know, I'll go to sleep in it. I don't care. Um, but yeah, 2017, pretty good year. And I hope 2018 is even better. Bye.